Vivek Ramaswamy is the author of Woke, Inc., and a very smart man. He joins us tonight. So, Vivek, thanks so much for coming on. Um, one of the, Now, your parents came to this country from another country. One of the things that immigrant families have that native-born Americans don't is an appreciation of the fragility of economies. They don't imagine that everyone's going to be rich for all time just because they were born in a rich country. And watching these people talk, you really feel like that's what they believe. This can kind of go on forever. We keep printing the money. Everyone's got more than enough, more drag time story hours. Exactly, Tucker. Well, first of all, talking about being woke, it is the ultimate privilege. The reason you don't see wokeness infecting poor countries is that they have bigger things to worry about, like people exactly. putting food on the dinner table. This is the ultimate privilege. But now, as the United States goes from being well off to being less well off in all the ways you laid out, inflation, supply chain shortages, watching foreign policy disasters abroad, you now see the people who are in power, the Biden administration, using and projecting these progressive values as a smokescreen to deflect accountability for their actual policy failures. Right. So you mark my words, Tucker, the more inflation we see, the more supply chain shortages we see, the more foreign policy disasters we see, the more you're going to see the Biden administration talking about racism or misogyny right. or bigotry or whatever as a way of changing the subject. That's that's exactly right. Actually, Tucker, you, you saw it in, in Afghanistan, for example. You have the Taliban coming to power. You have actual terrorists coming to power in a place that we left just a couple of months ago. And yet, the thing that we're actually talking about with Merrick Garland is domestic terrorism in the form of parents who are actually putting up protests to the way their kids are being taught in school. Classic example of changing the subject. And mark my words, you're going to see more of it as the policy failures continue exactly to rack right. up. You, you blame the Trotskyite records for the failure of the potato harvest. And our yes, Trotskyite exactly. records are white supremacists. No, one, no one's ever seen one, uh, but they're everywhere. I do think that's a pretty hard case to make, though, in the face of increasing poverty. Can you actually convince people that they're getting poorer because QAnon is bad? So, you know, you had this battle on the left, Tucker. Not a lot of people on the right appreciate this distinction. You've got the Occupy Wall Street left that's mostly been left in the, in the sand for 10 years. Yes. And then you have the new woke left that's actually held the reins over power. Now, as you begin to see economic recession and economic consequences in this country, as you begin to see inflation, as you begin to see gas prices go up, I think you're actually going to see the rise of the Occupy Wall Street left come back and say, we on the left need to be going back to arguing about economic inequality yes. as opposed to talking about racism and misogyny and bigotry. And you know what? I think that's going to be a good thing for the left. I think it's going to be a good thing for this country because that's ultimately what the left and right ought to be arguing about. They can have different views on redistribution or taxation policy or what the right economic policies are, but that is what we need to be talking about. We need to be talking about our reliance on China, which isn't a left-wing issue or a right-wing issue. That's right. Both parties, frankly, are guilty for it for the last 30 years. So I think this could actually in the long run be good for the country, getting us back on topic, talking about the things we need to be talking about as opposed to the woke smoke that the Biden administration and their corporate cronies blow every day to change the subject. I couldn't agree more. It, you know, this is a serious country. It's a great country. It deserves a serious conversation. And we haven't had one for years. And I, I anyway, Amen. appreciate your saying that. Vivek, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.